Okay, so in the last session we saw how to write the markup for our uh, web page. Now we'll see how to make it look a bit more clean and attractive just like our final output. And for that we need the CSS part. So firstly, let's go back into the CSS and let's check if uh, it is linked. So we have imported the link from current uh, from my local directly and the style tag itself which will be for which we'll write the rules here so let's start writing the rules for from the parent division and we'll go to the every next tag uh, one by one so for my parent division uh, i see that this content is uh, sorted vertically i need it horizontally like right here it will be image then my name and then my contact details so to make that uh, I need a. Uh, I need to give it a class of, and I'll call it, let's say, header. And for this class, I'll write my CSS rules inside the CSS file. Firstly, uh, before even that, uh, if you see the font of my original uh, page was a, a lot cleaner than whatever the default font is. So let's see how to change the font for entire web page. <coughs> and for that excuse me and for that we have a another link that we want to just copy and paste in the original file i'll tell you what it does uh, it, uh, it's an import i'm telling my css to import one font from this site it's a site hosted by google uh, and i'm telling my css my browser to import the font from here and to apply the font to the body i'll write rules for body as well so i have imported the font uh, and now I'll apply the for the font family to change the font there is a rule called font family which font family we want to use uh, and because we have imported this font known as Montserrat I'll just copy its name uh, and paste it here what it means is uh, for entire body change my font to this font family called, called as Montserrat and fallback font just in case uh, this font doesn't exist or this url is broken or they took down took down the font anything happens to this font and uh, we don't want users to show the this text uh, again right so just for the fallback uh, we are giving it a some different default name which exists on any system every system if i save it and if i refresh it there you go now the font looks even a lot better than the original one now uh, now we'll align this uh, the entire thing to first into center before making it horizontal uh, we'll see how to bring this entire content to center itself for that if you see my original uh, output ha was exactly in the center and on the both left and right hand side uh, we had le uh, for, uh, we, we, we left equal number of space so to do that i'll give one more rule to the css uh, it's called as minimum width and I'm gonna set it to 50% okay what that uh, what, what that's gonna do is it will give the 50% uh, it will restrict the body's high uh, body's width to 50% at least minimum and I'm gonna give the uh, the spacing on the both side with the another uh, rule called as margin and I'm, I'm gonna set it to auto what this means is use any mar uh, margin that you can on the both sides automatically if i save this and if i refresh uh, the uh, ma the margins on the uh, the top and right side and on because uh, this is not the uh, this rule is actually max width uh, which sets the maximum number of width that a web page can take so now we are restricting it to the 50 percent uh, now if I hit refresh now you see that the uh, the everything is aligned center now we'll see how to make it look horizontal uh, for that I need to uh, now we don't need these nodes now we have written the rule for uh, the entire division which is header so I'm just gonna write rules for this just class now remember it's not a tag like body so I'll start it with a dot and I'll write the rules inside this section here so firstly we need to tell that we need to make it look horizontal and for that the property is display equal to flex 
it stands actually for fl uh, flex box model but for now you can uh, understand it just to keep it in memory you can understand it as a uh, flexible display because um, that's not the right way but uh, you just to keep it uh, in your mind uh, the display flex will by default arrange all the items horizontally and it's also helps us creating responsive ui so that your web page on your desktop and uh, and on your mobile will look uh, will look same it will not get the overlap when you go on to the smaller screen and that's why we use flexbox and now this is this text is uh, aligned to the top part of the uh, this entire header box so we will need this to come to the center so that everything will uh, come here on this uh, on the horizontal center line and for that just like the name suggests we need to align all the items inside this header inside this division to its center okay align and items center if i save this and if i refresh there you go all the items are on center uh, center line uh, here somewhere in of the entire box of height of the entire box okay now let's uh, see how we can make this image more attractive uh, i'll write one more class for it uh, and i'm gonna call it let's say um, you can call it face or anything you want uh, just make sure to keep it relevant and to write the classes for it uh, just uh, i'll follow the similar syntax because it's a class it's not a it's not a element like body i'll write a dot before it and start writing the rules for it uh, the first thing first is we need we need to restrict it's a large image we need to make it smaller and just like uh, intuitively we'll just the rules name will be width of some pixels or height of some pixels we i'm giving it 150 uh, for the both width and height it will change the Fix uh, the images width and height to uh, 150, 150. Now, because the original image was not exactly square, uh, making it exactly 150 by 150 uh, stretched it a, a little bit. So, what we are going to do is we are going to give one more rule called object fit, which defines how the image will fit inside this 150 by 150. And I'm going to call it cover, which means the you need to cover the image inside this uh, inside this box of uh, 150 by 150 you don't need to stretch it so if i save this and if i refresh there you go now image looks a lot better and now let's see how to create this uh, image into circular it's really easy all you need to do is give it a border radius of some value what we want to do is uh, on all corner border radius applies to all corners here 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 and here so if I just give for a demonstration if I just give 20 pixels you see it became rounded on all four sides and all four sides are 20 pixels now but we don't want to hard code any value here just in case if tomorrow this value changes to 300 pixel uh, we'll have to change the border radius again accordingly so i'm just gonna call it 50 percent uh, what this means is make the border uh, 50 percent of its height and width on all four sides no matter what the width and height is that way the circular image stays circular in any resolution if i save and refresh now it looks just like our original image right now and that's it uh, that's all you need for uh, okay now this image just uh, one more thing this image is not exactly uh, it shouldn't touch the top part right so we'll just add one simple property to pull it a little bit below to add margin from the top bar to uh, to the uh, text itself uh, and i can give it a 20 pixel of margin which will which will pull this image a little bit down I save this there you go that's uh, that's everything that we need to do this with this image it looks exactly like our original image now we don't need to change anything here now let's move on to the this name and the qualification part uh, so for that I'll target this entire division again with the class of let's say title uh, and again, we will see what to do with this. For the title part, 
you see the uh, title is in the original part title takes a lot more space than uh, this image and this contact as well contact and both takes the only remaining part uh, so for this we need to give some space to it and for that i'm gonna give uh, it a flex property again for one what this means is take uh, the one portion of all the space that is available and in inside your box the box can be of this width uh, this long and i'm telling to use inside your flex box one portion and whatever is the remaining uh, you leave that uh, for your uh, remaining siblings like image and table here so this will be a this will take a large portion and whatever is the remaining from for this content will be left for these two tables so if i save this and if i refresh now it is pulled on the right hand side and this text is uh, now uh, now taking a lot more space this is helpful uh, to create the responsive web pages if you see if i change the width of my web page uh, the text uh, re realigns itself automatically i don't need to write special code to show it in my mobile browser anymore this is uh, already done with just one one property okay uh, now you now that we need to add a little bit space between the image and uh, the title itself for that i'm going to use margin we need to add margin from this towards the left right so it will be margin left of let's say 20 pixels again there you go now it looks a lot cleaner uh, now let's uh, target this title only uh, let's change the color of these both two words and I'm gonna call this now this part is done now let's go inside the h1 and I'm gonna give it a class of name and I'm gonna give it a class of qualification or anything else that you want just make sure to keep it relevant let's write rules for it for name uh, I only want to change its color to something like gray if I save this there you go entire name change but what I'll do is just like the original text I'll just change the uh, color of the last name to match the theme so and you can do that with I'll make one more rule here called colors name called co coral it's a tongue twister but that's fine uh, our class name here is coral which changes the color of the text to a this time I have not written color um, you know it's an it's not an hexadecimal value but uh, if I just write coral here browser will understand which color it is and it will automatically pick that color uh, and I can give reuse this part anywhere I want so I'm gonna just encapsulate this within a one more uh, section just like we use with division but it's uh, the span is for smaller uh, elements and I'm gonna give it a class of coral so what we, what this will do is it will apply this color property to this coral part okay if i refresh it there you go now it looks a lot better and to change this uh, this text looks a little bit cluttered we need to make it uh, something similar to the uh, the title itself so for this class for web developer and designer class i i'll write some more rules like Let's add little bit space between every letter uh, with the rule called letter spacing and I'm gonna give it one more pixel to if I save and refresh now it looks a lot more cleaner and uh, the text is almost aligned both the texts are almost aligned it looks a lot cleaner as well uh, that's that's all you need to do if you want of course you can change the font size you can change the color as well uh, let's just change the color of firstly uh, the black color doesn't look good on the entire web page so what i'm gonna do is i'll change the color of text color of entire web page to something a little bit that is not exactly dark black which will make look uh, match uh, which will make the page look a lot better so i'll just change uh, the color of entire web page to something like this this dark grayish color which is not exactly black but which is not gray as well if i refresh now it looks uh, it's a subtle difference it's not clearly visible for the uh, that easily but it is changed if i i can show you that with the help of magnifier glasses if i 
uh, you see now it, it's, it, it won't be visible like this but it's not a plain black anymore okay and that's what exactly we want it looks a lot better now mm, now let's target this uh, this contact detail page and we don't need to change anything here it is it's just fine as it is what we need to do is change the color of every value in the page just to match our original uh, text right and how we can do that is we have we already have the class which can change the color so i'm just gonna copy that class equal to coral and i'm gonna paste it to all the values which will change the color of all the values itself and not the uh, the left hand side if i save and refresh there you go and that's all you need to do uh, that's all you need to do to represent your header next in the next section we'll uh, see how to write your body of the portfolio uh, thanks for joining and i'll see you in the next time Thank you.